welcome to my channel IT smart training today I'm going to start Amazon EC2 if my video is informative please like the video and uh, definitely share and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more up-to-date video so let's start today's session Amazon EC2 So at first we have to know that what is Amazon EC2. So first Amazon EC2 it stands with Elastic Cloud Computing or sometime it is called Elastic Compute Cloud. So Amazon EC2 provides scalable computing capacity in the Amazon Web Service Cloud. Using Amazon EC2 eliminates your need to invest the hardware upfront so you can develop and deploy application faster. You can use Amazon EC2 to launch as many as few virtual servers as you need. Configure security and networking and manage storage. Amazon EC2 enables you to scale up or down to handle changes in requirements or spikes in popularity reducing your needs to focus traffic so basically Amazon EC2 is uh, the virtual machine which is provided by AWS so first next we have to know that the features of Amazon EC2 first is instances virtual cloud environments known as instances in Amazon EC2 we create virtual machines the virtual machines are known as a instances in Amazon web service so in my suppose uh, we are creating a virtual machine in Hyper-V that is a VM okay so that the same thing in Amazon AWS the virtual machine which is which we create in AWS that is called instances that's it next Amazon machine images we have a we, uh, we will create a video uh, with uh, Amazon machine images uh, 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 there is a separate topic uh, we are we will discuss and we will, I will create a, a different video on that uh, you just uh, you just uh, make you understand that just for now that is um, it is a pre-configured templates for your instances that is known as Amazon Machine Images AMIs that package the bits you need for the for your server including the operating system and additional software it is just a template where suppose we we need uh, uh, Linux operating system we need Windows operating system we need SUSE Linux operating system we need Red Hat operating system so in AWS there are created some templates suppose we want to uh, create a VM suppose we have to create a VM then we have to install operating system and we have to install all the features into it then the VM will be ready in the Amazon there is already created that kind of template where is written uh, which kind of operating system you are using so that kind of images are called AMI next instance types in instance types is you can say this is a one kind of hardware profile where is written your configurations of that particular instances or a VM 
like CPU, memory, storage, networking capacity of your instances. That is actually that hardware profile is actually called instance types. Next key pairs. Secure login information of your instances using key pairs. AWS stores the public key and you store the private key in the secure place. When we log in that particular instances, we have to provide that private key to log in. When we provide that private key and that information is decrypted by AWS, then only the uh, our server we can log in. So there is a high level security is uh, given there to log in. So key pairs means we have a we have uh, two types of key. We we everybody know that if we, if we uh, if you have a knowledge about a cryptographic service, so we have two type of key. One is a public key and one is a private key. If I encrypt a data with a public key, we have to decrypt with private key. Or if we want, if we uh, encrypt the data with private key, we have to decrypt that public key. That is the rules. Uh, suppose I will just give you a small example. In bank locker, there is two keys are there. One is for a customer and one is for bank manager. So in the in uh, which keys are in the which keys keys are uh, for bank manager that is a public key which is near shareable to the customer. And for customer there is a key that is called private key. If two keys are uh, used to the locker, then only we can unlock that locker. Otherwise not. If we have a customer key, we cannot unlock. If we have a uh, uh, bank manager key, we cannot unlock. We need both of the key to unlock that locker. In the same time, in AWS, we have these two key to unlock the operating system or the virtual machines. So public key is never shareable it is stored in Amazon we have to provide the private key and we use the private key to unlock the virtual machines next instance stores volume so we um, make a separate video on that but you just for knowledge you just uh, know that storage volumes are the temporary data that deleted when you are you stop or terminate your instances known as instance store volume it is a temporary data that deleted when you stop and terminate the instances next amazon evs volume it is a persistent storage volumes for your data using amazon elastic block storage or Amazon EBS that is called a Amazon EBS volume it is actually uh, uh, the actually the storage of the virtual machine where the actual operating system store just like our hard disk if we want if we have a laptop or a desktop we, we have a hard disk to load an operating system and applications all these things in the Amazon that hard disk is called elastic block storage EBS next regions and availability zone we already discussed my previous video uh, uh, with the regions and availability zone we all know that the multiple physical location of your resources such as instances and amazon ebs volumes known as regions and availability zone regions means the where the data centers are located that is region and availability zone are the data center where is exactly located next security groups we also create a video separate video for the security group just for now you just you just you just know that security group is just a firewall that enables you to specify the protocols ports source ip range that can reach your instances using the security groups it's just like a fire firewall you can say this is a firewall next elastic ip address a static IPv4 address for dynamic cloud computing known as elastic IP address. 
so elastic IP address is a public IP address through which we can access that EC2 instances or the storage next tag metadata known as tags that you can create and assign your Amazon EC2 resources when you create an Amazon EC2 resources we have to create a uh, create a tag but it is not a mandatory field it is optional you can uh, you may create the tags or you may not create the tags as well so it's just uh, identifications of that VM in which purpose we are using that particular VM so we have to create that tags it's just a metadata next virtual private cloud so virtual networks you can create that are logically isolated from the rest of the AWS cloud suppose you want to uh, configure you have two four virtual machines you want to configure two virtual machines are uh, we can communicate with the public network and two virtual machines we cannot communicate uh, with the pub, uh, with the public network so that in that case we have to create the VPC uh, sorry uh, yes VPC so this is all about EC2 uh, there are lots more thing uh, in EC2 so we will uh, uh, step by step will describe uh, as of now uh, this is all about EC2 so if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date thank you see you on the next video